Good afternoon. This is Deb Allen for the New York Times, and welcome back to Crosswords Live. My buddy Sam Mazursky and I are here today. Welcome back, Sam. It's just us today. I'm yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we're, we're sorry for the letdown, one. but uh, we're going to try to keep you entertained, and we really hope you'll come and solve with us, too, because uh, it's always better when you solve together. Indeed. Uh, today's puzzle is by Emily Carroll. Yes. And uh, how many puzzles has she had? Emily She's had a few. is, honestly, you know, there are so many constructors we publish, and Emily Carroll, yes. to me, is truly a constructor to watch, among yes. all our other prolific constructors we have these days. This is her 11th puzzle for the Times. And she's written Easy Mondays, Tough Friday, themeless puzzles, and yet this is her third Thursday. So she she's can definitely, pretty much do it all. She can do it all. Yeah, yeah that's it's exciting. Great. And uh, just fun fact, uh, when a constructor has had a puzzle published on <clears throat> every day of the week, we call that hitting for the cycle, yes. which is, I believe, is borrowed from baseball. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, Sam is my go-to for sports I stuff. Uh, so she's getting there, but she hasn't quite hit for the cycle yet. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Just missing a uh, Saturday, I believe. We're Whoa. just missing Saturday. Though Come I on, know Emily, you I've, can do this. I've seen Emily make themelesses, so yeah. we I, we might have a Saturday of hers in our file. If not, we we have another themeless. I think. Okay. I think. I don't know. I think so. Anyway, Emily, keep making puzzles, solvers. This one's going to be fantastic today, and um, we're going to be yeah. sure to call on a bunch of you too. So. Absolutely. Put your guesses in those comments. We, Come we join need, us. We need your input. Uh, today is a really fun uh, puzzle because we're here for the games, right? We are here for the games. So we're going to play a game today. We've got a lot to navigate. I think we do. And that's a hint, but hopefully not a spoiler. Uh, we're going to get right into it. I think that uh, my, my jumping off point was probably given the nerd that I am, the Star Wars Jedi familiarly was Obi-Wan. Wasn't uh, Anakin or Qui-Gon? You know what? Yep. I thought it might have been Anakin, but I had something in the crossing. I'm not I'm not quite sure how I did that. Anybody else out there who is... Yeah, uh, who's with us? We've got uh, Pat LOL8. Hello, Pat LOL8. Glad hey, you're Pat. tuning in here. Uh, says hi to both of us. Yep. Alpine Joy is back saying ta-da. Hi. Hi, Alpine How's Joy. How's it going? Um, my way in, Deb, I would say was, you know... Effectively, sort of like with this one, Oops, sometimes you that. just know your names that yes. they're essentially filling the thank blanks. Thank God for the names and thank God for the pop culture because yeah. God knows I would not be able to solve a crossword puzzle without it. A lot of people argue why is there so much uh, pop culture and, and proper names in there. So this is a really good question yeah. like that Will Shorts especially in his 26-year tenure has really zeroed in on yeah. is we love it when our puzzles reflect daily life right. in various ways. And you know what? Everybody has their own individualized wheelhouse, though if we can touch on you know, some of your sweet spots in and around culture, sports, showbiz. Yeah, there's you something know, in, it's you, just fun in for most. Everybody. And that's, I think, one of the arts of editing is, is for the entire list of clues, there really is something for everybody in there. And that's, that's, that's why... Our goal. That's why... I want you never to give up on solving because there is always a way into the crossword. Uh, even if you didn't know Obi-Wan or you thought it was Anakin or you're not sure about, you know, the country bordering Togo, there <laughs> will be something, something that you know. You just have to go down the uh, list of clues until you find a gimme. For example, here's another gimme for me. Uno tripled, right? Mm -hmm. Foreign language clue means foreign language answer. And uno is one. And if you triple that, you have three or tre. tre In which, Italian. And it's Italian. So it's, yes. the, the Maybe it's not Spanish here because no. we don't have enough letters for tres. Right. But I'd say one of mine, which I think a lot of solvers this would resonate with, if you go to 11 down yes, uh, in the top right, I mean, entrepreneur Musk. Oh. Elon Musk. Yeah. He's in the news all the time. Exactly. So it's a name that you knew. You, then look at you. You're solving the Thursday crossword. Exactly. You're in. You're in already. Uh, and as long as you're in, I mean, there <clears> was a, I had a very good yoga teacher years ago who said that there's only two steps to mastering anything. Start and then continue. And I love that. I, we've started, and now we're just going to continue. And if even if we don't finish the puzzle, at least we've had a good time and maybe learned something. Uh, speaking of which, I've got a guess. Is uh, Nicole Xavier 111's back with us? Uh, 
Kathy O's here from hey. Chicago. Hello, hello. Uh, Pat, Nicole. Pat LOL yes. 8 is in Greenwich is Village. In Greenwich Village. Nice. Uh, I, I'm aware of that. Uh, oh, <laughs> <but> okay. <laughs> uh, so 32 across, Nicole Zabra 111 says, is day. Seize, Seize the, the day. blank. There yes. you go. There's a fill in the blank for you. I'd say another yeah. one is uh, Nine Down. Nine Down. <clears throat> Adams with uh, a camera. Very good. I have one of his prints on my wall at home. There you go. There Ansel you go. Adams. Ansel Adams. And again, even if you don't know Ansel Adams, there will be something in here that you know. And again, I want to go back to the whole pop culture thing and, and why there are names in the grid. I, you know, I, I really do agree with Will's uh, philosophy that it should have to do with uh, everyday life. Crosswords used to be this uber intellectual exercise and yeah. people sat down to do them like they were taking the SATs. <laughs> it, it was, you know, maybe they enjoyed it, but they didn't enjoy it as much as I think they do today, which is why we have so many solvers. Um, I will tell you, and I said this before, if it wasn't for some of those pop culture references, I probably would not be able to do the crossword puzzle. Just yet, seemed too I bookish. <clears throat> a little bookish for me. I mean, I might, maybe I'm an idiot, but thank God for Elon Musk and Ansel yeah. Adams. It, it, it goes to show to, to that end that, you know, in and around all the pop culture, names you might know, names you might not know, right. the crossword still, we don't intend it to be a trivia test no. so much as being able to grok what all these clues are telling you to do even yeah. if there's just a subtle bit of wordplay like in this clue right here 22 yes. across a dark period for poets now that could be a dark and sad po period yeah. it could be their blue period or <laughs> it could literally be dark and because it's for poets we're going to have that poetic contraction the answer is in for, for evening the evening yes there we go so that's that's how you that's how you parse stuff like this you exactly. know all you need to do is just a little bit of patience and and i think that uh if you are aware of some of the basic rules for how to solve like before when we did tray uh let Foreign language in the clue has to match foreign language in the answer. Knowing that can get you so much exactly. further in solving. You've got a whole guide to how to solve these puzzles, right? I do. You do. Wow. You do. There's so a whole forget. guide. There's a whole you guide. Guys, and you know what? Exactly. It's free. It's free. It's in front of the paywall. So if you want to uh, search NYT how to solve the New York Times crossword, dig in. And there are even little minis but at the wait, end of there's each. there's more. There's more, as a wise man yeah. once said. There is. There are 13, I think, minis. Yeah, at the end of each chapter, uh, to help you practice your newfound skills, written by somebody... And, it's um, you know, I highly recommend it. I think they're a lot of fun. It's Plus, free puzzles. Free puzzles. And to right? clarify, we say each chapter, this isn't some heavy tome here. No, this is, no, no, no. This is intended to be your light bedside reading. Right. You know, Plus, just, just I wrote it, so you know it's not going to be serious. <laughs> so... <laughs> Solvers are chiming in. Oh, good. Um, Writing Devil, Pat LOL8, agree that another name, give me for some, 26, 26 down, oh, crossing the Y. For there the you go. Oh, the person who taught us how to smise, <laughs> Tyra Banks. Has Smize been in a crossword yet? Constructors, I think it get might to work. Have. Yeah, really. Uh, <laughs> there was something in this puzzle that I could not believe was, or maybe it's another a, an upcoming puzzle that I could not believe was making a debut. I won't give it away because sure. I think it is an upcoming we'll, puzzle. We'll talk after this. Sure. <laughs> M. Todd Booth agrees with Tyra. Um, let's see. Two Fly Eli. Eli, you are two fly today. Uh, yeah. six, so six down is Lenin. Of course, St. Petersburg was once it was once Leningrad. It was once Leningrad. And also, 21 down you were highlighting. Yes. Don't be scared uh, just because it's nine letters. Sometimes yeah. you know that, the answer. I will say, that can be con intimidating. Oh, for sure in it's fact, intimidating. When there's a lot of white space in a puzzle, a lot of people, and I used to get intimidated by stuff like that. Now I enjoy it, only because I've been solving and solving uh, very consistently. Yeah. But what, what do you th where do you find corn dogs and funnel cakes? You find in them the at... Kitchen? So you start just riffing off. Okay. You say it's some sort, of, some sort of, like, when I think funnel cake, I'm thinking of fair. Right. Right. Maybe. So, state fair? I would say it was to be a state fair. We'll it, see. It just clicks. We don't intend, you know, a bunch of trickery in all these clues right. either. We, something like this is another way to connect with our solvers because it's just evocative. Right. Now I'm hungry for funnel cake. And me too. So, we'll have to go get some after. I don't think there's a state fair here in the city. <laughs> the stinging plant this is another gimme for me because I'm a gardener. The uh -huh. stinging nettle. The stinging nettle? Yes. Do you know all about your uh, lantana? 
You know what? I don't. I've never grown lantana, but I'm going to have to uh, look into it. Mm-hmm. All right. What else have we got? Writing devil agrees with nettle. Nicole Zero One One agrees with nettle. Um, Audrey Kaplan, I see you. I'm not going to say your comments aloud, but y- you you are right about uh, today's puzzle. Uh, meanwhile, Valeria Silvestri says yes. that 24 down next to Obi-Wan, but uh-huh. in, in the middle, uh, Tripoli native, that's the capital of Libya, exactly. so that's going to be a Libyan. Right. And, uh, wow, gosh, you, you guys are crushing it right now. Alpine Joy loves that I'm saying grok. I love saying the word grok <laughs> in case you can't figure it out. Should we start fist bumping for grok, too? I'm down. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I'm, absolutely. Kathy, are you keeping track? Right. Um, <laughs> but good. Alpine Joyce is something. So now I have... You, you, I you've solved six, 1,660 puzzles? Are you on a big wow. streak? That's impressive. That's great. And you're working in the archives, too, which is great. And if you, want to, uh, if you are a subscriber to the New York Times Crossword and you want to practice or you've done the puzzle for the day and you just really want to do more, we have an archive. I think at this point it's over 9,000 puzzles. There's a whole a archive. Lot. My gosh. Going all the way back to 1993. It's insane. Uh, Nicole Zaver 111 says that 20 across is dis. Ooh, insult oh, slang. I, the, I, I love and I also hate, you know, the clues where you're just like, oh, I should have seen this one sooner. Like, yes, yeah. Because it's, it's, it's a nice, you know, respite from having trouble in some other areas of the grid. And then you say like, oh, okay, right. here's this. We're, Here, we're back. We're, here's we're on. one that's pretty easy to call something off. You got three letters with an E at the first position to call something off is to end it. Mm-hmm. There you go. There's another one. Oh, Valeria, are you... um? Streaming on Twitter isn't working well. Are you um Arcobal and Oshino? Are you the same person? I'm trying. I'm, I'm I'm trying to see if that's what you meant. Um, let's see. Alfie Joy is um has solved almost all of the archive. Wow. <laughs> okay, that's a, that's impressive. So that must be a streak. Yeah. M Todd Booth says that 64 across in the bottom right area is gov. Yes, dot .gov, ending to a White House address. Dot .gov. Not not you know an address like a speech. But no. the literal URL, right. whitehouse.gov, <laughs> indeed. It would be ending to a White House address. It would be funny if it was fin, F-I-N. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay. Um, d- uh, Tiny Marsh underscore gamer says that it uh-huh. confirms that it is over 9,000 puzzles in the archive. Wow, I so probably should have known I that. I was right. Do you know a Tiny Marsh? That's actually uh, Ryan Smith, who actually, uh, Ryan Patrick Smith, who actually wrote um, a Friday puzzle in the oh, past. Oh, hey, months. Ryan. Yeah, so uh, congrats on your debut, Ryan. Keep keep sending Very puzzles good. our way. It was a goodie. We Not only that, but like Ryan, Ryan is a writer who uh, has written articles for Smithsonian Magazine, including one about the crossword. Woo! And yeah. the last decade You wrote something about the crossword for Smithsonian. I, I did, yes. Uh, let's see. Uh, so here's actually a great question, Deb. Okay. Armando Valdez, this is a very good question, asks, mm-hmm. isn't this often spelled with only one S at 20 across? You know... It's possible, but I think that if you are trying to uh, say something that is an insult, it would be a double S. D-A-S to me is more of a prefix for something. Do you, what do you think? So it's, it's funny that you bring that up because um, we actually, we've had both dis, D-I, one S, and dis, D-I, two S's, both mm-hmm. clued as, you know, insult in slang. Okay. We actually traditionally... D-I-S-S, ready for this? This is how much the crossword has evolved, everybody. Oh, boy. D-I-S-S, five years ago, was just clued as, um, you know, what a PhD candidate has to present. Oh. Abbreviation uh, for your dissertation. And that's funny. Um, it's funny that you bring that up because it really speaks to how much the crossword continues to evolve, how yes. much language continues oh my to gosh. evolve. Because <clears throat> there was a time, I think, before both of us came on board, where the word Oreo, the cookie, which is now clued as the cookie and is the official cookie of the New York oh Times my crossword, uh, was clued as a uh, prefix for something mountainous. Is it mountain. It was some, some, yeah, some combining form for the word mountain. Who exactly. Knew? Today you right. learned. We're never going to yeah, clue that, that Oreo was that way again. Definitely a Molesca clue. <laughs> but, um, yeah, and now... Uh, Thanks to Will, it's clued yeah. as the cookie. Here, here's another one, actually. Will and I, we mm-hmm. were just editing puzzles, so this may or may not be an answer in an upcoming puzzle. I won't spoil by okay. not talking about the clue. But the answer, meme, we'd been talking about once was just exclusively clued as, for the majority of the time, the French word meme, which uh, means the same. That's why people say meme instead of meme. 
They must that be getting it must be what it evolves yeah. from, perhaps. Or m- m- me. I've heard people say Mimi. Yeah, I've heard that too. But but so that's funny that you use that pronunciation because we also is like um, we we've clued meme M E M E in the past as like ooh ooh c- call on yeah. you know like <laughs> right. or, or cry said with a raised hand. Me, yeah, me. I know. I don't. We think don't need so. to do that anymore. Meme's no. so fun to clue. Thank God you have a better clue. <laughs> Somebody is saying that fifty four down writing. Oh, uh, devil. Writing Devil, M. Todd Booth, Nicole Xavier 101, they have oh, Proton. excellent. All the science people Oopsie. in the room know look that... How, uh, look how smart you guys are. Yeah. I, I really waffled over that one for a while. <laughs> Honestly, Ryan, I'm, I'm, sh- <laughs> I'm shouting you out for the It's Over 9000 Dragon Ball Z meme, by the way. Speaking of memes, <laughs> thank you, thank you. Yes, you, you, you do trust me. It, it, it admittedly went over my head. Well, but, uh, it went, went over my head, too. Happy to shout way you out, by the way, too. Head. Keep sending us puzzles. Yeah. Anybody who ever wants to construct puzzles should send puzzles Absolutely. away. Absolutely. And, a and if you're I'm interested biased. in learning how to construct them, we also have a how to, how to make a crossword puzzle guide. But even better, if you are on Facebook, uh, there's a group called the Crossword Puzzle Collaboration Directory. And uh, if you join that, you can find uh, experienced constructors who are willing to mentor people. And please don't be shy about that. These are people who are very, very lovely and are willing to give their time. And you're actually, I think, more likely to get published if you use a mentor than if you don't because they tend to know what is publishable and what is not. So they will guide you. And my, teach you the ropes. My first published puzzle was a Saturday yep. with a mentor, with my mentor. Shout out to Vic Fleming. Shout exactly. out to the judge. Yes. Um, <laughs> Thank you, Your Honor. I've had more than 30 puzzles since, but that's that's how, that's how you get started, you know? All right. What um, else have we got? <laughs> Alpine Joy is sharing, you know, a bit of vocabulary. I can't remember if this is – I don't think this is in this puzzle, but today I learned what pelf means. What? And it's filthy money. Uh, okay. From, <laughs> Pelf I, was a weird word, like stolen goods, you know? That, that's that's an odd one. I prefer perf okay. in that slot, P-E blank F. Uh, Pat, Pat is saying he sh- I'd be ecstatic if I never have to titrate another acid in my life. Pat, strength of, chemically, another science clue. I Very love saying nice. the word science-y. Yes. It's titrate. Thank you, Pat. Um, There you go. See here. Look at this. We're, we're, we're doing pretty I was, well. I was just going to say, we're rolling, and we haven't even yeah. mentioned any sort of theme once. I mean, no. this is a weird sort of grid. Normally, you know, the theme, you find it in the longest in the across longer answers. Ones. Yes. But there's only really one long answer that comes to mind. Huh. Which is? Ah, the revealer. It's a central revealer instead of down at the bottom, which can happen. Participate in a common ch- children's game as illustrated in this puzzle. Okay. I love we have puzzles a puzzle set of illustrations. Yes, me too. Maybe but, we'd be able to connect the dots. But what could this mean? We'll have to. What we, could we, it we, mean? we have a lot to discover. We have a lot to find. <laughs> um, that's the Alpine Joy clarifying the filthy lucre. Right. Indeed, indeed. Where's, um, how about this, Deb? Yes. If you jump to. Um, 47 across, one of a Disney septet. Uh, well, I only, groups of seven. I have yeah. to say that anytime uh, you have the septet, which is always going to be the seven dwarfs, unless they come out with another septet. Unless there's a sin. Uh, the exactly. Sin. This has the, the seven deadly Disney sins. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to, I'd like to figure Love out what those are. Envy, yes. sloth, right. sloth, bashful. Yeah. Yes. Um... The, if you have three letters, it's usually going to be Doc. Because I think he's the only one. And I think it was clued that way once. The only uh, the only one of the seven dwarfs with the three-letter name yeah. or something uh, like that. I love that. Yeah. I, there was one of uh, Will Shorts' early favorite puzzles by Bob Klon back in 1994 oh or something like that. Um, had all the se- all seven dwarves in the puzzle, but they were clued as if they weren't the dwarf. So hmm. Doc was, you know, nicknamed for... Uh, nickname it Back to the Future. I don't know. Right. Um, but that, that, was, that was just a nice little aha moment. you got to love those aha moments. You know, Alpine Joy is saying something interesting. It and me, question mark, time. time. 
question mark. <laughs> you know what, Alpenjoy? I'm not sure I know what you're talking about at this point. But we're going to find out. Maybe maybe there's something to yeah, what you these, just this said. Is how, this is how puns and anagrams puzzles come together. Exactly. So I, I, I like the way you think. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, what else should we call it? There's quite a few three-letter uh, entries in book after Ezra. See, we, oh, again, we talk about our wheelhouses. <laughs> This is one, you not know, guilty, mine. To, not mine. Yeah, not sorry, mine. let's we'll uh, make sure that the uh, lightning bolts don't come down. Here's someone I haven't called on. What's up, Spinity? Uh, nice. 34 down is oh. Mascot. Mr. Met for uh, one. Here we go. Now we're, now we're back to my Thank wheelhouse. you for that. Now, here, here's a weird one, Deb. I'm going to okay. throw a little, I'm going to give solvers something to chew on here. Oh, boy. 36 down. The very next down answer, but it's on the ah. left side. I am so, so confident that Gangsta's Paradise rapper Who? is Coolio. But we don't have enough but letters. But we don't, like, was he known by some other name? We don't have enough letters to write yeah. in Coolio. Is, are there any other solvers that can, like, why won't Coolio work Fit. here? Yeah, it's, why won't? Can we check our crossers? What's, sure. What's, uh, don't freak out. Or I, ooh, I uh, buffoon at 46 across, ending in an F. Oh, Maybe well, oaf? that's oaf, yeah. It usually is. Okay, so you got your row here and it's for so Coolio. Yeah, you want it to be... So what? Is, there, is there like you know, like Jay-Z's nicknamed Hove, Dr. Dre, everybody calls Jay. Yeah. Did we just call this guy Leo? Was Coolio's real name Leo? I don't, is I don't his know. name Leo? No, I, don't, okay. I have no idea. <laughs> Writing okay. Devil, yes, says it's too long for Coolio. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Uh, okay. 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 They're starting to yell it out. EDW now. David. Jay Morgner. I'm waiting for I'm wait, I'm waiting for a few more. Do, Let, we, have, me, do we have a tiebreaker? I'm going to continue <laughs> but, to jump around as more solvers chime in. Um, I want to go to 60. But I, we just wanted you to know that uh, EDW David and yeah, Jay they, Morgan, got we, got see you. Arma- we see you. Armando Valdez has it as well. All right. Yes. Because Armando Valdez, so here, let's combine this all. Okay. Armando Valdez says that 35 across. Yes. It looks like it wants to be be cool. All right. Well, but, but, but we ran out of room. But you know what's so weird is that cool yeah. is across. Is there a, are we, like, like you want cool, if we put cool into that single square, it works across. You and can't it works do down, that. but you can't do that. No, that's can't against I? the, you know what? The crossword police will come and get you. If you try to do that. a 15. Crossword police. Jeez. Um, okay. Well, here's the thing. I think we can do it because we have something up here called the rebus button. What's the rebus button? The rebus button is what you push when there's a rebus in the puzzle. Now ask me what a rebus is. What's a rebus, then? A rebus is when you are asked to put more than one letter in a square. Technically speaking, it could be anything. It how are you asking? How, how does Will Shorts ask you to write more than one letter in a square? Like, would he's, you please? He says, please. Please I, write more. more but he also letter. has some twisted smirk on his face. He really you know, like, does. He, he wants really you does. to solve the puzzle. But I'm going to show you a handy dandy trick for if you are solving in print, it's easy. You just write really small. Mm-hmm. But if you are solving on a device, your iPad, your your phones, um, this is how you put more than one letter in a square. And I go into this and I, I link you to the instructions on today's wordplay column, which is located right below the puzzle. Um, this rebus key up here in the right hand corner opens up the square for you. Now you can see that you got a square with a flashing cursor here. What happens is you can now type more than one letter in a square there. So if I were to type cool and hit enter or return, oh, and then cool you check that gotcha. out. Gotcha. And gotcha, ga- gotcha. gangsta's rap, uh, rap gangsta's paradise rapper is. Coolio, but it's also don't freak out is be cool. You're telling me not to freak out. I don't know. This is a lot. Be cool, This is very heady. Yes. So the real question, so first of all, Spinny, you're trying to drop a link, a piano version of Gangsta's Paradise? I'm pretty intrigued. I might have to scroll through the comments after this. Uh, Listen myself. Um, (laughs) Valeria Silvestri has this. It's Coolio indeed. But so here's the other step to these rebuses. You can't just, you know, decide on a whim, like... Okay, there's a rebus. In, there's always a reason. Yeah. For the rebus in this puzzle, and I mean, maybe maybe it's about ice cubes. Maybe. Maybe. But how does that have to do with the common <coughs> children's me. game 
is illustrated by this puzzle. Um, I don't know. Maybe I maybe it was a game that I didn't play about ice cubes or being <laughs> being cool. I was oh, not so a it's, cool it's person. Oh, so it's So ice cubes in this puzzle too somewhere. I think so, probably. All right, we, All right let's move on. Kathio's got it. We'll, we'll, we'll stand by. We will stand by. I want I want more okay. people to, to crack this one. But maybe we can check some more crossers. Kathy O came up with the perfectly cromulent uh, oh, theme. Goodness, goodness, so. goodness. Well All done. All right. Well done. Uh, Pat LOL says that we should check out, let's see, uh, 60 across perhaps. 60 across. Ah, here we are. A starchy, starchy tuber. tuber. I I know that. That's taro. We taro have root. we have enough veg. We, 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 we have veg? enough vegetables. We have okay. enough letters. Um, but how about <laughs> let's you make know, a stew? Yeah, I know alphabet this soup. One. Right. Um, the nineteen ninety eight Olympics host city. You know this. I do. It was uh, held in Japan that year, and the ta- the uh, city is Nagano. I don't remember these Olympics. Well, you were very young. I was then. three. You were three. So. Ooh. How about okay. how about um how about fifty five down? Fifty five down is shout before entering a gunfight. Now I have a funny story about this. Love it. Yeah, love it. Yeah, um, love I, me. I actually misread this clue, and I thought it was a shout before entering a bullfight, <laughs> and I wanted it to be ole ole, except that that didn't fit either. Then it's I went real. back. Always read the clues very carefully, people. That's the best advice. Well, we know I there are rebuses. Can you not stick an old A in that first letter? And you know, maybe there's I Ola. probably could. Maybe we we no. You know it's what? not worth no. trying. It's not worth trying. Ah. Um, like uh, let's see. Nicole Xavier one 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 wants us to go to thirty nine across. Now ah, that we have the A there, okay. that'll make it easy to see. Wow. That Actually, was that's a that's tough a clue. Tough clue. <laughs> um, you know, this is what we encourage people to do when you come to a tough clue and you're not sure what the answer is. Consider whether the the words in the clue have a different meaning than you think they do. So, for example, a dollar alternative could be another kind of cu- currency, right? It could be a peso, euro. it could be anything, a euro. But Dollar can mean something else. A dollar is also the brand name of a rental car company. So a dollar alternative Alamo, in this Rebus. case. Well, no. Oh. no. <laughs> in this case, the dollar alternative is Avis. Ah, the one that actually fits. Gotcha, yes. gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> that V seems like it would be Ooh, helpful. That's yeah, not the most common of letters. Quiet fishing spot. That sounds so beautiful. Oh, exa- exactly. This sounds yeah. just peaceful. Yeah. Go, th- are we gone fishing next week? I I don't know. I cup fish. I don't really like regular <laughs> fishing. But I would say that that's got to be a cove. That's a cove. Right? A very nice Again, cove. another clue that just like kind of gives you some peaceful imagery behind yes. it. Unless, of course, you're not a fisher person. So, you know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, uh, Pat says, I thought 63 down would round out the root theme with a stew. 63, 63 down. down. Traditional remedy for a sore throat. <laughs> well, I'm not St- sure. I, honestly, yeah, I li- I like that yeah. thinking. Um, that seems a bit out there for. It's, well, it seems a little bit rough on the throat, <laughs> but um, a traditional remedy for a sore throat. That's interesting. Four letters and uh, a T at the second position. We'll come back to that. Maybe it's a type of T. It could be a type of tea. Let's put it that way. But I can't. But, but, what do you have? What kind of tea is there with one letter? Uh, I'll, I'll, I shall wait. Uh, I'll, I'll wait for other hey, sellers to chime in. You know what? What's up? What's the crosser? What's the crosser? Well, let's see. It's crazy popular as crazy a product. Crazy popular as huh. a product. Some product is flying off the shelves. It's yeah, just scorching sales, if you will. Okay. Um, I've completely blanked out on here. that. Here, uh, yeah, I was going to say, so Pat, Pat L08 has another one, has, wants to point out that his thought for dollar alternative was Visa. Maybe right. wonder if it was a theme. I'd like to point out that you can actually get Visa if you move the A from Avis right. to the last letter. So exactly. you weren't actually as far off as you thought. No, and just, maybe you could rent a, a visa, an Avis car with a Visa. <laughs> so. Oh, anyway. Peregrine Tux with us. Hello. Hey, Peregrine. Greetings. Um... Uh, <laughs> Spinity's got it. Spinity's. Alpine Joy's in the ballpark. Oh yeah, look at that! 
crazy popular as a product is red. And then oh, we're going to jump yeah. up here to the rebus key, open up the square, and type hot. Red hot. And hot tea, I think, is a much better answer for a sore throat than stew. Yeah. Sorry, Pat. Sorry. We, we love stew. I, we have I'm, nothing I'm against about stew. It. It, it would have been a bit oddly specific for yep. the answer. Okay, so a lot of people are shouting red, out red, red. Yep. No, that's all just Alpine Joy. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so you were, you were, uh, I think I think he or she has had about as much coffee as you have. <laughs> Indeed. How's it going, Peregrine Took? We're glad you're joining uh, us. Sorry yes. about notifications not going off, but that's okay. Right. Wiped. Huh. You know what? I think that wiped could be tired or wiped could be wiping something away. Maybe it's erased. Ooh, good. Fine. See? There we go. There you go. This is what you do. Is I, I am trained now as a solver to automatically look at a clue and start rifling through my brain about all the other meanings you, it could possibly Your brain, have. you can just stretch it like... Silly putty. Silly putty. You can even press it on newsprint and come up with I was gonna and pull say, away a picture. I was going to say like plastic, but I'm yeah. not really good at stretching certain types of plastic. Okay. But maybe, maybe that's just on Fridays and Saturdays. Um, let's see. El Euler at me is joining us too. Erased is correct. Nicole Zaver 111 and Spinity are both ah. pointing out that... There's like different temperatures in these rebus. It's a nice right. themed rebus, but we've got cool and we've got hot <clears> so far. Why so are see. we changing up temperatures for our at forty across again? Our you know children's game across. illustrated oh. in this puzzle. Participate in the common children's game with temperatures. I don't know. It's like taking somebody's temperature. Is, is, was it's, that ever a game to you as a parent? Only if you played doctor. But the, <laughs> doctor mom. Right. I'm asking doctor here mom. Here we go. Here we go. Post blizzard <clears throat> need, I'm pretty sure, is going to be a plow. And, yeah. Uh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Uh, L. Euler M.E. has um, teehees in the plural at 10 down. 10 down. I right, think but so. sandwiched between I, I Ansel and I have to say Eli. something here. I absolutely am in comf- uncomfortable with the spelling. Of oh, tee with a T-E instead of T-E-E. This I, to me is techies, <laughs> which is not a thing. So how do you spell, like, like how do you feel? But see, when I write, like, a, a text, like a chuckle laugh, yes, I go, like, hee-hee, H-E-H-E, right. H-E, rather than two E's. A lot of it, and people go yee-yee now or yeah-yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I understand yeah, you yeah. guys have your things, and I've already been <laughs> yelled at by my children for using punctuation. I know the whole drill. But I'm still uncomfortable <laughs> with T-E. It's, it's only a matter of time before just like, yeah, yeah. gets itself into a crossword grid. Exactly. You know, as many E's as possible. <laughs> so El Euler at me says agreed. Didn't even like yeah. giving that answer. How about here? Let's start and look at that stack of sevens in the top right, maybe. Or top in the top right. left. Okay. Just because, you know, the, now that we have enough letters, maybe these will just be able to fall. Means of access. Huh. No dice there. No. Nope. Maybe solvers know their classic uh, Bob Marley song. I know this one. This is One Love. Oopsie. Not I'm Love. Inelastic. <laughs> Un- <laughs> one Love. Ineligible. There you go. There you go. <laughs> All right. How about so 18 across? It may bring one back to reality. Don't know. Uh, radio silence there. Right, <laughs> exactly. Or showtime here. <laughs> Bowl over. Don't know. This clue I liked. This was a goodwill clue. Yeah. Michigan in, in Chicago. Chicago. Oh, knew that one. Avenue. This has nothing to do with states, neighboring cities, or anything like that. Exactly. This or is... that Michigan has suddenly relocated itself inside <laughs> Chicago. Yeah, uh, that would be I, impressive. I knew that because my son goes um, to college in Chicago, and so I know Michigan Avenue very well. <laughs> Is, Not that I'm stalking is, him or is, 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 is your son like right in the heart of the city? Or? He is. Okay, yeah. that must be fun. It is. Uh, let's see. Here we go. Uh, Huey X Freeman says that thirty-three across is smoke. Where? Uh, S M O blank blank on the right side. Ah, here we go. Yeah, that seems about right. Chimney, Chimney output. output yep. I think so. With enough letters. And Spinity is saying, "Let's get together <laughs> and feel." We love sing-alongs. Right. In our- Absolutely. All right, d- d- with that in mind, let's uh, let's get your yayas out at okay. fourteen down. Fourteen down. Get your yayas get out. Get your absolutely. yayas out. And Rolling somebody, stones. I think it's Lulerme. Yep. L. Euler, Emmy. 
L like, Euler yep. ME. Okay. Figure it out by now. I'm and sorry. I'm, a, I'm very nearsighted, and Sam keeps the computer way over there. So, no, that's okay. <laughs> is wow. So, wow, thank you for Dad. that. Just hey, look wow. at this. I know this one now. Means of access. That's got to be gateway. Freightway. No. No. Okay. So, what the heck's here? What, what What's eight down? I, some so, Eight down is disappear as a trail. Gone. No, go because M shower is not going to make any sense. Go wait, 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 oh. wait, wait, wait. What? What if? Hear me out here. Hear uh, me out. I'm just, ready. just I'm ready. a, a crackpot theory here. Is this a rebus with some sort of temperature in it, like cool well, and hot? I think it could be. Just going out on a limb. You know what? Let's see. I think that if if you uh, want to bring somebody back to reality, you throw them in a cold shower. Oh, it's all wraps. It'd be better to capture yep. this moment and hope you don't. Oh, oh. <laughs> disappear as a trail is go cold. That looks good. You guys got it. Lionor, Lionor is seventeen is go cold. El yep. Oiler and me is go cold. Is cold. M Todd Booth cold. Well done. And you guys are. Somebody Freeman it. is says <laughs> Gateway, which is Gateway great. Gateway is right. You know. What? <laughs> Get your yayas out, made Pat blush. Sure. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how it, let's moving right along. Um, Kathy O says that twenty-seven across over on the right side yes. is cod. Yes, it certainly is. Often. I, was, I don't know why I was very disappointed to hear that. <laughs> Where that the fish and chips I was eating was just cod. I thought it would be something a little See, fancier weirdly, than that. Like, <laughs> when you say something like you know, like cod cakes, though, that just sounds like appetizing to me somehow. I don't cod, know. really? I think. I mean, okay. okay, it's not like it's not like I'm eating toro at a sushi bar. It's not no, particularly no, a delicacy, it's not like but that. I, don't know, I will I like tell cod, you though, free cod. My my older child is a vegetarian, and we took a trip to London a couple of years ago, and we wanted uh, – London is a very, very veg-friendly town. Oh, and, good to know. Um, so we ordered uh, fish and chips, but um, they ordered uh, a form of fish and chips that was actually made with halloumi cheese, Ooh. which is very well, chewy. Halloumi doesn't fit. Halloumi does not fit, but I will tell you that if you go to London, you have to have the halloumi fish this and chips. This is good to know because I'm really going good, later this vegetarian. summer with a vegetarian. So. Go. <laughs> this yeah. is actually, you I'll, could not I'll, have let it. You, you will talk Wonderful. because Wonderful. I have a whole we'll travelogue we'll for you. Cool. Okay, but so, enough about our travels. Yes. Let's talk about The you. Grapes of Wrath <laughs> Figure, man. That's an oaky. That's an oaky. Yep. And right next to it, Writing Devil, Huey X, they all agreed. Kathy O agrees. Peregrine Took agrees with Cod. A workstation is a your desk. desk. Now, look at this. Oh, Valeria Silvestri what says it's it? play something. Play. Because you play right, a game. The, and then seek at the end. Hmm. Mm. But what? still, cold, cool, hot. I don't know. Let's keep solving. I think, think we've got this. We're getting close. Country bordering Togo. You know what? We have two letters here. I think I have enough to know that it's Benin. I did not know, in fact, that it was bordering Togo. but It's I, been I in mean, the crossword a few times, been... so it might have helped you if you hadn't have known this answer prior. Um, <laughs> but the... She, <laughs> the uh, uh, yes. landed. Oh, okay. no, yeah, that landed. Oh, that landed. Cool. Um, so Benin, uh, even if you don't know that it's bordering Togo... You know that it's an African country because it's bordering Togo, and uh, you have the N and the I. It has to be Benin. I like so. little stuff like Benin and Lenin intersecting at just some black square. Almost, Almost intersecting. intersecting. Yes, But kind absolutely. of parallel, forming that this beautiful, we're about to see this beautiful top left corner. Do we want to take a crack sure. at one down? That we ends could. in a B. It's six wow. letters. Wow, okay. May, may as well. Whatever plays pays the bills. <laughs> Ugh, okay. I say this all the time, you know. Yeah. Gosh, <laughs> well, you know, it's got to be a job this of job. some sort. Yeah. Ugh. Now, very interestingly, when I saw this uh, whatever pays the bills attitude here, um, I I thought it was going to be Mac job. I really did. <laughs> that it was a Mac job, like a Mac mansion and stuff like that. Turns out it's not. I say that's so interesting. I always say Mick job. You say Mech job. Right. Well, we it's won't get different, into pronunciation different, different, here. Uh, different strokes different. for different folks. <laughs> All right. So a uh, high-profile pair. Man, that, that's a tough one. Well, okay. 19 across has to be Jaw or Joe. And I don't think Shoot the Breeze is Joe. No. Oh, so God, no. It's, no, it's, it's, it's a Jaw. jaw. It's to Jaw. jaw. I'm, I'm Jaw. Yeah. 
Uh, it's, it's kind of an old timey word, but <laughs> shooting the breeze, yeah. chit chatting. Site um, of Saguaro National Park, huh? Saguaro, well, saguaro cacti are found in the oh. southwest. You can use this maybe to make an educated guess. And yes, if we're if it's found found in the southwest, I would say that it's got to be Arizona, Arizona because that is the only state I can think of with that letter pattern. Yep. And it's, now we've got this disease, some city. so let's let's go down here. Competitor of Ruffles. Oh, gosh. My Utz chips. Utz, okay. The, the Utz. This, I, I put in Lay at first, and then I was like, no, it's Lay's. It's this, not this, uh, this ex-Baltimorean yep. has, has all the love in the world for the Utz crab chips. Absolutely. I cannot stop eating Utz crab chips. Oh, man. Um, can you... Can you- Bring me some because that sounds Down. really they're good. So, they're absolute fire. They're, uh, they're seasoned with Pat, way too much oil. Pat L O L B says 45 across is a great trivia clue. Let's it take a. It is a great trivia clue. Ho- oh, wow. Home of the oldest university in the Americas. Now, notice that's a plural because mm-hmm. a lot of people assume that because this is the New York Times crossword, it's only about the United States. No, it's we're not. Ha- we're hashtag worldly. We are. In fact, we also have an international uh, readership so, exactly. and viewership. The home of the oldest university in the Americas, founded in 1551, is Lima, and Peru. What's cool is that that's another one where you might you, we're not expecting Today you to I know learned. this little bit, this little fact, this little known fact. Yes. But with enough letters, you might go. I know Lima, the major, the world capital. Yeah. Perhaps there was a university there, and then we can check our crossers. Sure. To then say, now we've given oh, ourselves I like an this. eye. This was my oh, favorite goodness. clue. I love this. A long this... way. To, whoopsie. A long way to go. Sounds like you're talking about distance, but with that question mark there at the clue, we're actually talking about a vehicle that's long, and the answer happens to be limo. Limo. Indeed. There you go. Where? Got come it. on. And, and someone uh, sound the klaxon. <laughs> right. Uh, Part of the church chorus. That's got to be amen. Yep. Not literally the choir that's singing in the in the in the risers. Spinny Spinity says yes. that fifteen across up in the top left is subtler. Ah, oh, the there's a word you don't see very much. Colors. Not so obvious. S U B T L E R and Ly, uh, Lionor is 17 says, oh, oh my. Oh, that's what this is. <sighs> Whatever pays the bills is a rebus. And if we open up that first square, it's it's. No. Singular. It. it yeah, it's right. A job. It's See, even a we job. get tripped up. Exactly. And that makes this high profile pair has got to be it couple. Right? Like Brangelina or mm-hmm. when they were together. <laughs> that's, a, that's a good one. We, we, could, we could have done that. Then we would have sounded like we, we, we had a dated reference for the, yeah. the New York Times Cross. This was, I could not forget. I had A-R-E here, and I could not remember the name of the arrow poison to this save my life. This is a tough life. word. It is. But you know what? It's Thursday, and you're going to see stuff like this. But you can solve it. You could solve it using the crossings. Not Ex- written is oral. It is oral. That's right. right. We wanted to. We want to make an answer like that. And then what simpler, I learned so. was what I learned from the puzzle was that there is a type of poison used on arrow tips called curare. Curare. You know, there used to be one of the oldest staples of crossroads before I was born, before Will took over. Yeah. Was um, this four-letter word I N E E. Which was another type of arrow poison, huh. pronounced ine. At wow. least that's how Will said it. Uh, so I'm assuming he's right. Okay. Um, but that used to be the biggest crotch to crossword constructors until we decided, you know what? Or Will decided there's no need for ine in, in modern crossword right. puzzles. And so. uh, Kathy O <laughs> says, ugh, I was so stuck on that square yep. one rebus. You know what? You're not alone, Kathy. You really aren't. But I think it's interesting that. This is the first square we have that's not a temperature. Yeah, wait, so it. hot, cool, cold, it. Uh, Let's keep going, is man. Is it a temperature? Uh, it could be. Is there something? Is, is, is it IT? I don't know. I don't know. Let's keep going. We're, initial we're... initial temperature. Initial so temperature, it's, right. It's like absolute zero, then you get a cold, then cool, then hot. Right? I think so. That's it. Uh, eclipses to some are omens. Let me finish that off. Yep. And Take it uh, away. where else are we going? Where else are we going? A lot going? of people are, are shouting out 40 across. 
Oh my gosh. Should we maybe it, it can't hurt to, to answer it at this point no, because I, I think there's think still so. plenty of aha moments. Uh, well, have. first of all, that book after Ezra is Nehemiah. Oof. I don't know. You're asking. <laughs> Nehemiah. You're guys. asking the wrong. And anyone who yeah. somehow pronounce the the, the 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 Bible book in the comments? Nehemiah. Nehemiah. Uh, yeah. Play hide and seek. So we're playing a children's game, and this is one of the things I love about crossword puzzles. Oh you know, everybody gosh. thinks that crossword puzzles are this two-dimensional, boring, Crusty. you know, test something to test your knowledge, mm-hmm. and that should be stressful. And here we are being asked by Emily Carroll to get out of our chairs and play a game. Let's play. Let's play a game of hide and crossword. seek. So I think... And I could be wrong about oh this. Oh my gosh! That one across here, this it, is it. As so in the person and seek. the chasing person who after, is the finder, trying to find people. Right. So it, uh, the person who's playing it, wandered off to the east, and that's cold, right? They were told that was cold, so they wandered down to a little further south, and like, oh, you're getting cooler, mm-hmm. and somewhere around here, you're hot. But I don't know what else to do with this. So let's keep solving. Maybe there are more rebuses. Maybe there are. Maybe there are. Eventually, we're going to have to find Emily. So uh, It's Nehemiah. Nehemiah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. That, that's at least thank one pronunciation we're I getting from, uh, from uh, Huey, Huey X. Freeman. Thank you. Uh, and Nicole's Crystal, everyone. somebody says. Cryptic. I'm chicks. sorry, cryptic chicks, kicks. Oh, kicks! Yes, I, he's a uh, setter <laughs> in England. Hi, kicks. Uh, curare derivatives are still used in what Americans call anesthesiology as much as muscle relaxants. What do the British call it, kicks? <laughs> I mean, if, if not anesthesiology. Um, but thank you for that. That's very interesting to know. Nehemiah. All right. Thanks to uh, evil genius MG Amini as well. We, yes, we much appreciate uh, it. Yes, our evil produ- genius producer looked it up for us. Thank you. Thank you. We're, 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 always, we're always getting prayer tips. Yep. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Some sorry. Nicole Xavier and uh, Tiny Marsh are saying, what if it's the evil clown? Oh, God, She's no. chasing after With them. an axe. Oh, uh, v- Valeria Silvestri has something interesting. Uh, she's calling it a fire and water game. Maybe that's what it's called in Italy. Oh. Is that is is it called fire and water in Italy, Valeria? It's, it's hot and cold. Let's find warm. Yeah. We do kind of jump from cool to hot. Huh. Maybe. Oh, wait. What? So... Maybe this is like geographically in this puzzle. It is far away from some yes. person who's hiding. They're cold in that location. They're cool in the thirty-six right, square. Right, getting cooler. So maybe there w- is there somewhere where they could be warmer. Well, and then getting, in which case they're, they're getting there. I think it's going to have to be somewhere in between here, mm. somewhere. So let's keep going. Um, Kathy O says sixty-one across. And lot line Practice is before a game. Hmm. Oh, so how do you fit it in with um, with only three squares? Well, let's let's uh, let's go down to uh, sixty-one down at first. Okay, grows, grows fond, fond of, of. Oh my gosh, what? it's warm up <gasps> and warms to. And oh, this was the warm rebus we were looking for. Here we go. All thank right, you, so Valeria, and thank W-A-R-M you, Sarah. warms to. Whoop. Oopsie, uh, what quick, happened? Quick puzzle again. There you go. <laughs> warms two, and then going across is warm up. There we go. And so here we go. Here's it. And they set off looking for the person, and they're cold. Then they get a little cooler. Now they're getting warm. Then they're getting hot. So I think we're getting close. We're I think getting we're close. Getting very close to L- finding. I feel like we should knock out this the rest of the southwest corner first. I, okay. Well, how about how about um forty nine down? Forty nine down. Ah, here we go. Spa amenities. Ah, my favorite. I know this one. <laughs> Saunas. Oh, I should have seen that earlier. I, I was honestly trying to remember what it was. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm <laughs> I, I not hanging you. out in uh, in spas enough. Uh, apparently, hide and see something like Valeria says. It's fuoco fuochino. Okay. Am I doing that right? I, I, I'm trying. I think that's close. But, but, enough. but now, now, now we know. Today I learned. I learned, this is what's so great about having so many solvers. I know. Like, See, now we know so how to say it in Italian. Exactly. That's great. This Thank you, great. Valeria. 
Uh, okay, so uh, Huey X. Freeman, am I reading that right? Says 70 down is ran. Oops. Campaign. Uh, campaign yeah, is ran. Can, ran. Very Indeed. good. Thank you for that. Oh, here's our, Deb, here's our other uh, our vegetable in the puzzle. 65 Where? across. And, uh-huh. um, root that's roasted and eaten. Oh, man. That's mm. like nature's candy. Hungry. It really is. That's got to be a parsnip. It's got to be a parsnip. They, again, this is, it goes to show, you know, we might not have gotten that answer with no, no letters in place. But that SN, I mean, that there's only one vegetable. There's only be. one. Yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. Unless there's a rebus somewhere that we don't know. Uh, M. Todd Booth, Huey X. Freeman, Writing Devil are all firing off a spire at 57 across. Oh, there we go. That's a Have good one. Have high hopes. If you do, you're aspiring to something. Indeed. Okay. Uh, How, let's let's do this one. 43 down. Like some sellers. I had dank at first for that. That's a, that sounds right. You know, it does. But today it's actually damp. And then 50 across, GQ or T? That's a mag. Oh, my like God. That nice magazine. little, we love right. our T magazine. Yep. GQ and D. Uh, and this one is easy. Uh, sister in a Brother's Grim Tale has got to be Gretel. Oh, Oops, and, uh, what did I do whoop, here? Uh-oh. G. Watch. R. A spile. A yeah, Gretel. A spile, what you use to tap trees. A exactly. <laughs> um, so Valeria says it means fuoco fuochino means fire, little, little fire. fire. So, that, so oh, it is okay. related to getting hotter and colder um, to someone as you're trying to find I guess so. I guess so. I, I would imagine yeah. so. A lot of people are shouting out damp and parsnip. <laughs> uh, we, how, about, how about here? Let, let's see who knows their cross already is it at 59 down. Oh, you know, God. Your, Official your of ancient, ancient Roman Rome. officials. Where, where are my uh, classics majors out there? Or, not me. Or, <laughs> not, not me. Not me. Yep, I, I'll, stick to, I'll stick to math and science. Um, uh, okay. Well, so let's see. How about this one? No, oh, that Roosevelt. we can get. Absolutely. E-reader. Oh, wait. That's no, not right. it's Eleanor. <laughs> so this is interesting because we have E-D-I-L and here, classic Bill Withers song, which Use I me. knew. The one that shows up in puzzles You know all what? The time. I loved Use Me, and I wanted that to be. But he actually was more famous for the song Lean On Me. Lean. But I don't have enough squares. Lean. Well, what's the crosser? The crosser. It's not just lean on, something like that. Shout out. Shout before entering a gunfight. <gasps> I know what it is. <sighs> we found you, Emily. We got you. We got you. We got and this is going to be Cover Me. Cover Me. me. Non-PC. Non-PC and Don. And so we're going we're gonna to finish this, but I want to go back and, and review this theme with you guys once again because this is a lot of fun. It's, it's a game within a game. So let's, let's knock this out. Chum, that's got to be Pal. We have the P there. That's good. What else? Uh, let's see. Uh, we, we spin and he agrees with lean on me. Excellent. You guys keep these guesses coming. This fantastic. Yes. One may be bronze or golden. That's got with an A. That's got to be. It's going to be an I was, age. I thought maybe it metal. would be metal, but we don't have enough letters for that. And how about how about sixty or seventy three across right in the bottom left? This ah, one I love. Oh this answer. yes, it's very inspired, Phil. Gift that comes in pieces. Now notice they don't say parental gift that comes in pieces because really it's not it's this is the thing that you are going to step on in the middle of the night for the rest of your life or at least until your kids are too old to play with legos oh but come on surely you had fun like assembling the legos Don't with call me surely oh, okay. sorry sure <laughs> Sorry, you, you must have had so much fun, you know, just assembling all these all these fun Legos. Oh, my my dad we used to get all this blast. Harry Potter, all the Harry Potter stuff. Oh, the yeah. are coming out. We, we were big up. into the Star Wars ones. Oh, say yeah. no more. I, I had the the, the Falcon. Oh yes, uh, the big, big old Millennium Falcon. A lot of people agree on Lego set. A uh, couple of L Oiler me or uh, yep. Writing uh, Devil M Todd Boone. says rig, an oil rig. And then we've got, it's got to be agitated, Ill right? Will, Ill yeah. will is spite. Yeah, spite. And we're going to, term of endearment is pet. Uh, I have to start calling Charles that, I think, <laughs> you know. Um, term of endearment is pet. I'm going to close the puzzle. Look at you guys, man. We found you Emily. You solved a Thursday puzzle. We found you. Let's, let's talk about what we did to play this game. The theme was 
participate in a common children's game as illustrated in this puzzle. The theme was play hide and seek. So we have been invited to play hide and seek. Uh, we are it and we are, it's our job to find Emily Carroll who made the puzzle for us. So we start out here, it, we travel to the east and take a cold us, shower along the way. Right, exactly. Or, or the trail goes cold yes. because we can't find her. So we start wandering south. She tell Coolio tells us that little, we're getting cooler. Little patience, a little, a little music. Patience, That's a little, all we need. Exactly. We tra continue traveling south and we're warming up okay and warming to the game then we travel east and we are red hot swallow a cup of hot tea for our throats along or the way or stew if you're so inclined or stew well you could have both but why then you wouldn't why not know. both i guess you can you they can. make a good combo right exactly like and here she is we found her it's it and me at opposite corners of the puzzle and we are being directed at me, it me <laughs> along the way so to clarify, writing devil, I just want to shout out um, this guide that you're discussing. This okay. is all Deb's baby. Well, I I merely no. created I merely created a few mini puzzles for you to a try. A few, but you can find a few. This there guide. was thirteen of them. But uh, no, it's yes. nothing. If you go to New York Times dot com slash column slash wordplay, or even if you just Google NYT wordplay, you will find the wordplay section. And at the top left, there's an animated uh, square that says how to how to solve the New York Times crossword puzzle. That is our how to solve guide. And at the end of each part, uh, there is a mini crossword written by Sam that uh, will help you practice your skills that you've learned for that section. It's not hard. It's broken up into a lot of sections. If you're a more advanced solver and you just want to get better, you can skip to the end where we tackle the harder clues and we talk about themes. Uh, and I hope you enjoy it. It's free. It's in front of the paywall. Uh, you are welcome to uh, take a look at it. If you'd like to make a crossword puzzle, we also have how to, how to make a crossword puzzle. Mm -hmm. And um, as as usual, please join us on the daily wordplay column. Uh, every day we talk about the puzzle like this, and we have a large community of solvers who are just waiting to meet you uh, to discuss the puzzle with you and uh, help out if you the need help. The best community there is. Absolutely. I like to lurk. <laughs> very, yes. Very, very, very generous with their time. Uh, so anyway, that is our hide-and-go-seek puzzle with uh, Emily uh Emily by Carroll. Emily Carroll, sorry. <laughs> Who's um, hiding at the end of 74 uh, yes, Cross, but yes. we found you. We found you, and right. I wanted to thank you again for joining us uh, to, sol uh, to solve the puzzle with us today. Uh, we uh, wish you a happy afternoon and happy solving. We'll be back next Thursday at 1 p.m. Eastern time for another installment of this. We have such a blast doing this, yes. and we hope you'll come join us. Come one, come all. Exactly. Another fun, tricky Thursday up ahead. This is Deb Amlin for the New York Times and Sam Mazursky saying have a great afternoon.